So in this video, we are going to be talking about why Nintendo. Why do I love Nintendo so much? And I don't know if you have seen this channel before or if you've watched a thousand of my videos. Well, what I love is Nintendo. Nintendo games, I have a ton of them. Now don't get me wrong, I have Xbox and PlayStation and Atari and Sega and all different sorts of games. But for me, Nintendo has always been the consoles, I say consoles, to collect for because the, all the games are just so awesome. Oftentimes the first party games are out of this world. So I'm going to talk about three consoles that really mean a lot to me and why Nintendo is kind of the brand's business, corporation, whatever you want to call it for me. And there's a few reasons for that and we'll talk about that, but I wanted you guys to know that yes, I know I have a ton of Nintendo stuff, but I want to explain to you why I have some of that Nintendo stuff. So let's get into it. So let's talk about this a little bit and let you know why Nintendo is uh, something that I absolutely love and I often talk about all the time. Well, the first reason is because Nintendo was my first home console and we'll get into other types of consoles as well, but Nintendo was my first home console. That NES that I had, that had Super Mario Bros, that had Blades of Steel, uh, Mighty Bomb Jack. I had a bunch of games that kind of were obscure uh, because they weren't games that like normal people were talking about. Like Super Mario Bros. Yes, everyone talked about it. Everyone played it. But back then, no one played Blades of Steel. At least no one in my circle. No one played Mighty Bomb Jack. Like even to this day, I mention that to people and they're like, uh, yeah, I really haven't played it. And so like to me, some of those games are like the wildest games that I, I had growing up and they were a lot of fun. So I wanted to talk about that and say Nintendo was my first home console. The NES was, I, I was born way after the NES, but by the time I was born it was cheap and my family had a bunch of them. Like I remember my grandparents having one, my parents having one. like. I could go over to my grandparents' house and find like other games that I'd never played. Like I remember finding like a winter games and a summer games and fell in love with those. Like just as they are, it was a lot of fun. I was a young kid, maybe eight to ten, maybe twelve, whatever, uh, at that point. But that was my first console was when I was young, and it was younger than eight. Um, I just remember about 8 to 10 was whenever I found out that my grandparents had an NES. Like it was in their attic and I found it and I was like, oh, I gotta play all these games that you have. And I remember just fondly loving those and it was something that I had so much fun with. So that is why Nintendo is a big deal to me. It was my first home console. So the next console is going to be something that a lot of people probably had as a kid and honestly it's got to be one of my favorite consoles and that is the Game Boy Pocket. And I'm going to talk about this just a little bit with you guys because honestly the Game Boy Pocket was actually the first console that was ever mine. Like my parents had their NES and my grandparents had an NES. Um, but I didn't have anything that was mine. The Game Boy Pocket was the first thing that my parents gave to me along with Super Mario Land, which if you've seen this channel, you know I absolutely love that game. Like hands down, that's probably one of my super one of my favorite Mario games. So like when we're talking about it, the Game Boy really meant a lot to me. I had a bunch of fun freaking getting Tetris with it. I played Tetris so much. Like even 
now recently I still can sit down and play Tetris for hours like they're even making new Tetris games like Tetris uh, 99 I think is what it's called on the Nintendo Switch like that was a big deal so like to me the Game Boy was something that was amazing because I could literally play those NES games or NES type games anywhere I go. You've got awesome games on the system. Like, don't even get me started about listing off games on the Game Boy Pocket or the Game Boy because honestly, that was a lot of fun. And then I'm kind of bundling these two together the Game Boy Pocket and the Game Boy Color because I got a Game Boy Color about two years later and Pokemon. Let's just talk about Pokemon. I got Pokemon Blue and I wasted. I say wasted because I played this thing over and over and over and really fell in love with it even more. So when I say the Game Boy Pocket and the Game Boy Color are my favorite uh, console that I first that was first mine, like those were consoles, both the Pocket that I got first and then the second one being the pocket, the Game Boy Color. Those are both near and dear to my heart because honestly they were the first consoles that I owned that were mine and that is why Nintendo is my favorite. Okay so let's talk about the last reason we're going to be talking about why Nintendo for me and that is because of the Nintendo 64. Now when the Nintendo 64 came out in 1996 I was not able to get it. That was about the time I was just getting a Game Boy Pocket and so for me it was like something that I just couldn't have at that point and it sucked but later on I realized why like my parents didn't have the money at that point so it was okay no big deal but something that happened to me and the reason I ended up getting a Nintendo 64 is because uh, through some family things we had bought a family member my grandpa one and complications and health problems he ended up passing away and then they ended up giving that to me and I still have that thing that thing is like probably the most sentimental thing that I have when it comes to gaming. Um, so the Nintendo 64 really meant a lot to me from that standpoint, but then also digging into the games, like you've got so many great games. You got the Zelda games, you've got Mario, you've got just legitimately like totally crazy games like Monster Truck Madness, which is not a great game, but multiplayer, it's an awesome game. You've got Smash Brothers, you've got Mario Kart, you've got all sorts of games on that system that I hold near and dear to my heart because I played them so much. So when I say the Nintendo 64 is my favorite console and the system that I grew up with, I'm probably telling you the truth. When I say it's my favorite console, it's, it's up there in the top three for sure. Depending on the day, it may be my top uh, console or not, just depending on what I've been playing and how that goes. But it's a system that I love to play and I it's really the reason why Nintendo is so big in my eyes. Okay, so those are the reasons why Nintendo is a big deal to me. And honestly, I think Nintendo is a big deal to a lot of people. Like if you grew up in the United States, Nintendo was around like Nintendo had the presence they had the games and everything was great um, Especially if you grew up in the 80s or the 90s or the early 2000s Honestly, you probably played some sort of Nintendo system whether it was uh, the Game Boy the NES the SNES the 64 the GameCube the Virtual Boy the wait did I say Virtual Boy? Oh, ne never mind. Let's not talk about the bad things um, but those were some of my reasons why Nintendo is so prevalent in my game collection and why I play Nintendo games um, mainly more than other systems like don't get me wrong I love the other systems as well but Nintendo has that special 
place in my heart and I love playing it. So why do you guys love Nintendo? And if you have a, another company in mind that you love better, comment down below and tell me why you love them. So with that being said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you have a good day.